Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name's Rich and today you're going to be watching a video of me uh, doing Snowden Barefoot. Basically, as the title suggests, I decided to quit my job at age 30 to basically live my life more for a few months. Nah, I don't like that. Oh, I, got, I got the words a bit strong. And the video that you're about to watch is me basically doing Snowden Barefoot. So we'll see if uh, I actually managed to do it or not. The reason I decided to do it was just a challenge, both mentally and physically. Um, after watching a few other people do it, I, f I really wanted to try it myself just to see if I was capable and then sort of grow from it onto other challenges. Um, I decided recently, as the title suggests, to quit my job uh, at the age of 30, full-time work, and basically just start living my life a bit more, doing some challenges, doing things that inspire me and that I want to do because I feel that holiday days and days off, you don't really get many in a year compared to you know the amount of time you spend working. So. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button, leave any comments that you would like below um, in terms of what I can do in the future or what you'd like to see. And yeah, catch you on the flip side. With it being later in the day already and the drive taking around two hours, we decided that it would be best if we went to Ken Orphan. Hope it didn't butcher it too much, but stay there the night and then tackle Snowden in the morning. Just because we don't want to run into the risk of it going dark while we're doing it. They built on a salt mine <laughs> in the 1900s. Is that actually? We arrived at the oddly looking salmon pink travel lodge situated in the middle of some apartments and headed to the Black Boy Inn down the road for a burger and a beer before heading straight back to the hotel and hitting the hay for the night. Just woke up. Um, just on the way to Asda to pick up some supplies. And then we're gonna drive over to Lamberis, find a parking space. And then yeah, let's get started. Just at the car, waiting for my partner. She's just um, currently checking out at uh, the travel lodge. But we didn't actually look at the weather yesterday because it was super last minute. Basically, I finished my job. Uh, I was working in social media and it was my last shift yesterday. And then it was a last minute whim. Basically, do you wanna, should we do Snowden? Because we've been thinking about it for a while, but we didn't know exactly when I wanted to start it or anything, so. Just thought, should we try it now? Um, weather looked cloudy, but at the moment, as you can see, it's quite sunny. So just want to get started now. Eager to crack on, see how I get on. Um, so yeah, I'll update you up there. I also want to um, do the three peaks in 24 hours. Well, that's another video. Um, didn't really fancy, having never done barefoot before, to just start out um, trying to do the three peaks in 24 hours. and. I think it's a bit mental, so um, see how this one goes, and then we'll go from there. This is um, the pack I'm going to be taking with me. It's just the uh, Pentagon, I believe it's Leon 18 or something like that. Yeah, there you go, 18 hour bag. Um, it's really good actually, I've had it for ages and it's super solid. Comes with loads of molly webbing on the side and stuff, so you can attach things, uh, the Velcro on the front, which is pretty cool. And yeah, not taking much because I want to be quite lightweight, but I've got some Monster, a bit of Diet Coke, some water, obviously the socks when I finish, um, some anti-back, um, hand wash and some wipes, and then a raincoat just in case. The shorts I've got on are represent, um, they're pretty good, uh, water resistant, so if I get caught in the rain, they dry pretty quickly after. We parked at a car park, which was literally opposite the... Uh, train up to the top of Snowden. You'll see it in a second after we walk to the end of the road, which I would recommend if you're looking into doing it yourself, especially at the Lamberis path, um, just because it's about £5.50 for 24 hours. Uh, probably about five minutes in now. Uh, my feet look okay at the moment. I've been sticking to the grass so as much as I can at the sides just to avoid the stones 
for now because I know I'm going to hit them when I get to the top but uh, yeah I'll keep you updated when I get a bit higher not sure how far we are up at the moment um, my feet seem okay to be fair there's a lot of train in the background on the way down probably been walking for about 15 minutes now but feeling good let's go At this point, I'm probably a few miles in. Um, I'll put a screenshot on in a second just so you can get a rough idea of where I currently am. Um, I did say I underestimated how harsh the stones actually are on your feet, but then again, I'm almost 16 stones, so it's a lot of weight to be put on them. But surprisingly, I felt okay. Um, I was sticking to the grass as much as I could, which obviously helped massively, especially because I knew that later on, I wouldn't really you know, be able to avoid it avoid the stones, I'd have to just go through them, so wanted to make the most of it while I could. We just um, passed where the uh, train stops. I thought it used to go up to the top, but I don't know, maybe they changed it or something, but coming through there was horrible, um, just because there's literally nowhere to escape on the grass at the side or anything. Some cool views. It's the first time I've actually stopped since we've uh, come off which is a bit crazy considering it's bare but we'll feel okay actually my feet don't look too bad just like uh, super dusty and um, we haven't got far to go I don't think we're sort of at the top so yeah it's gonna have a quick water break and then crack on this is when uh, things definitely started to get harder after going under the track and uh, when you're forced to go onto the stones and then heading up this part now, it's a lot of loose rock. And I tried to head over to the grass and then stick to it as much as I could, but I was quickly uh, running out of it as I got higher and higher. It's turned into brick territory now. Some cool views there, but it's definitely a lot harder to uh, try and avoid treading on stones, at least small ones. But my feet are okay at the moment. We'll see how they last. Just having a little rest. Not far from the top now. Just around the corner. Achilles down there somewhere. So I'd have a little break. Nearly there. One thing I would say though is it's definitely been tougher than I thought. Um, I suppose when you're watching it on YouTube and stuff videos, it never looks as bad as it really is. Um, but with that being said, um, my feet look fine. A little bit dirty and stuff, but I thought they'd be a lot more, maybe like swollen, red. Um, yeah, there's generally more battered, but I suppose I've still got the top to go. It's definitely been an experience though. Um, let's look at the views. Views. It's a nice day as well. It's not it's not rained. It's not overly hot. It's overcast, so probably at the top it'll be a bit pea soup, but it is what it is. <laughs> Definitely recommend it though to anyone that's you know never done anything like this, jump out of your comfort zone. Pretty much made it now. I think it steps from here on out. My feet. Not bad. Considering I just climbed the mountain. I'm looking forward to uh, 
just throwing on my socks and shoes and chilling on the way down. This bit felt good, just heading up the stairs to get into the queue to slap the old gold piece at the top, otherwise none of it would have counted. Um, did it in good time, probably around two hours, something like that, which I think is decent considering it's barefoot. I think it's a decent time, not barefoot to be honest. But yeah, after this, my calves ate for about a week, although my feet were absolutely fine, so I must have some magic 1992 limited edition rubber feet or something because they were unscathed and I thought they would be battered to be fair from watching other people do similar things. Um, next is Ben Nevis and Scarfell Park, which I'm going to be planning and doing soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, roll on. Done and dusted. Just um, going to make the way back down now. Same route we came up, Lamberis, just because the car's part there. Overall, it's been good, been a success. My feet are still intact, not even that um, worn to be fair. So I'll probably get a few shots on the way in and um, on the way down in. And uh, yeah, see you then. I mentioned earlier that I didn't know whether the train went all the way up to the top or not. And I can confirm that it doesn't due to the slight fact that the track doesn't even go all the way up to the top at the moment because it's carrying out repairs or maintenance of some sort. Saw this cool Chinook on the way down as well. Um, not sure what it was doing, but it was flying around through all the valleys for a while, going back and forth. So I'm not sure whether they were searching for someone um, or they were just out on an exercise or something, but pretty cool. Not often you see one flying around these days. Just got to the bottom of the path where we started, mission accomplished. My feet feel a bit battered now. I'm thirsty and hungry, so we're going to grab some food. But yeah, on to the next one, two more to go. Just trying to walk backwards down the hill. My feet are shot now, on my legs, just in general. On my knees. In many ways, I prefer actually just going up and um, to coming down. It's less obviously stren strenuous for your body, but it's nice. Nice on your joints. But yeah, I'm looking forward to grabbing a pint or something, having some food. I haven't really ate much, but I never really feel like eating a lot um, or drinking when I'm just cracking on. I forget. Or I don't just feel hungry and thirsty, but yeah. We jumped in the car, headed to Morrison's, which is right next to the travel lodge that we stayed the night before, pumped up the tires and headed home. Thanks for watching if you stayed this far and um, look out for the next one. Peace out.